Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Nikita Antoine and today we'll be doing a message for the sign of Gemini. As always, Gemini, all of the readings, they are timeless. So when the message finds you and resonates, then it is yours at the time in which you find it. Gemini, I have done your spread today with my classic deck, the Ethereal Visions Tarot, the Dreamscape Oracle, as well as the Luna Tarot, all blended into one. So we'll be seeing a mix of those in your spread. Gemini, today kind of looks like you are, well, we'll see. There seems to be like two different characters in your story. It, it could very well be like your higher self in you, but it's coming through as like someone who is writing your story. Um, so with that being said, here we have the bottom of the deck. The underlying energy for you today is the strength card. So I'm using this new lining and these cards are being kind of very washed out. <laughs> So, we're still figuring it out, but, all uh, right, so with the strength card, oh, there we go, there we go, okay, so they just need to be tilted a little bit. All right, so with the strength card coming in here as your underlying energy, you know, this, this card came up in the Taurus extended reading, actually, kind of characterizing the relationship between um, a human and a pet. And that being the closest symbolism to something along the lines of like an angelic energy to a human. You see the, uh, what do they call it actually? Uh, a simile? Is that what they call that? A simile? Um, yeah. So for instance, you know, angel is the human, <laughs> right? As human is to, is to pet in a sense. So with that being said, that's, that is what the strength card is coming through as, is that the strength that you have with your guides, be them angelic. I believe they are coming through as very angelic. Um, well, it's, it's very intimate, actually. It's very, there's a, there is a strength in the closeness and the connection that you share with your with your like guardian angels you know the ones who who take care of you the ones who kind of will alert you along your path as you move forward and kind of help you navigate your movements forward so your underlining energy here is the relationship that you have with your angels okay you know, it's very interesting because in the Taurus reading, initially, it was coming through as something that was very paranormal and kind of like alien-like, but it got, a, it got clarified later on. All right, so on the bridge here, we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, this is very interesting because it's like I, I just referred to the Taurus reading as one where the relationship between so the relationship between the Taurus and what was going on in their life was that they didn't they didn't recognize the angelic as for for what it actually was they were seeing it as something that was perhaps maybe like alarming or or scary or frightening and I'm actually kind of coming up with you might be perceiving this as a very similar energy. And so that's why today, you know, although perhaps maybe you might be finding yourself a little bit defensive against this message, especially with this nine of wands here. It's wanting to really bring in to your awareness, the relationship that you have that maybe perhaps you, well, maybe you know about it, but you're actively 
blocking it. And that's what this Nine of Wands on the bridge is talking about. It's talking about you actively blocking this energy from, oh, okay, this is very interesting, from assisting you. And I'm saying that because the Nine of Wands, you know, they they will fight until there's literally no fight left in them. They're kind of classified as the wounded warrior, right? So they're, they're always going to be, well, until, of course, you get to the Ten of Wands, there is always going to be a little bit of fight left in them. And because of that, they build all of these boundaries and fences and everything around them to prove that, well, in your case, at least it's preventing this energy that actually wants to come in and protect you and take care of you. So we have that coming up for you. And then let's go ahead and look at the overall energy for Gemini. Interesting. It's like a rethinking kind of maybe thinking I, I need to reanalyze this. Oh, okay. That's interesting. This just kind of fell out. So for the overall energy, we have the Eight of Swords. This is interesting. I've never actually gotten this message before with this card. It's actually coming through with the idea of a damsel in distress. So your overall energy here, Gemini, all right, this is definitely making a lot of sense with your reading as it's, as it's unfolding in my own mind. So your reading today, Gemini, is has an overall energy of a damsel in distress, but there's there seems to be a little bit of kind of like a little tug of war between you, Gemini, because if this, if this, if this is also you as the one on the bridge, the one that is um, putting up a lot of boundaries, putting up a lot of things that would not allow this angelic presence in your life. Um, you know, what it's, what it's referring to is that you actually do need assistance. There's something in this that you need, like you need assistance. You need to be almost like a rescue mission, but there's something that you are maybe defensive against, or you're, you're actually asking for some type of defense against this, this presence that wants to come into your life. Okay. So, and it's being characterized as Someone who actually, not someone, but like an angelic energy, which, you know, of course there are earth angels, um, an angelic energy that actually wants to kind of save, save the day, kind of save the day for you. That's what it's coming through as. It's, a, it's like a rescue mission. So it kind of looks like you might actually be in a little bit of trouble, Gemini. So... With that being stated, we're starting off with the word as your first card coming in here. And when this card initially came out, I actually, I saw it as uh, a script, a script that was being written, um, coming through it in like, like a storyline, some type of storyline that was being written. And for you, Jip and I, it's like, this is your storyline. This is the... And this is that angelic energy, right? Coming in with a story. It's very interesting. It seems as though this angelic energy has the ability to be able to, like, 
create the story that you are walking through. And that's why I'm like, okay, is this an angelic energy or is this like your higher self? You know, a, a, a more broader aspect of you that knows the story of this life's incarnation and kind of how it's going to move forward. And, and you know, during the process is able to, you know, add in edits or take away things, you know, things, you know, add stuff, add events things that would get you to well I guess in a sense the destin the ultimate destination what I'm hearing now is the is the old classic like tale of that it's not about the destination it's about the journey so that type of thing so um it looks as though this presence here um, be it angelic or your higher self. I haven't really gotten, I, I haven't really gotten super emphasis on that. So it could be coming through uh, for many different people as, as different otherworldly entities, if you will, that are, that are helping to shape and guide your path. So they have an ability to be able to write in a new path or a different path or something along those lines, like changing the trajectory of your path. So that's why here it's, it's as if this, you know, they're also presenting as a strength card. It's as if this one is kind of wanting to get to you as close as they possibly can because of this ability, because you are to them, you know, if you are um, like a pet, I'm using that terminology as a, as a, um, <laughs> a loose analogy, <laughs> but if you are seen to them as some, as someone who needs to be protected, cared for, perhaps even like rescued, they're, they're kind of, they're, they're wanting to run to your rescue. They're wanting to save you, you know, and, and the reason why they're really kind of, why this entire reading seems to be happening for you, Gemini, is because they have this ability to be able to rewrite your path as it's moving forward. It's a, it's a, actually it's, it's, I mean, it's a very pivotal strength that they have. So what I'm seeing here for you, Gemini, is that you're actually coming upon maybe something that might be perceived as a really large obstacle. It's there's a really big obstacle that is that is soon to be approaching you. And that's why this message is it seems like it's wanting to get to you before this happens so that you can let this one in. And you know, when this when this death card initially came out, it came out in reverse. And I usually don't take reversals. But when it does happen, I, you know, because, because I read the cards in a more, in a, in a stylistically, in a way that is, could be characterized as like scrying, the images to me sometimes can tell me a different story than what's, um, what the traditional meanings are. So for you, I was about to say Aries, but for you, Gemini, this is coming through as this is this obstacle. So you actually might be finding yourself in um, a lot of planning. Maybe you have a sense that this is on the horizon and your, your method of tackling any obstacle that, that comes up in your way is to devise a plan and then move forward well, with confidence, right? Move forward with confidence. But there's something about this obstacle that is coming up that it's like, 
it's almost as if you don't even need to go through it. Like you actually can bypass this obstacle. Like you don't, you actually don't even need to even perceive that it's there. So what I'm seeing here is that, you know, this is, this is of course the death card here. And this, you know, his actual, the land, if you will, is appearing as like a mountain, a huge mountain that is, that would be in your way if you were to continue moving forward along the path as you currently stand. You know, what's interesting also here is that your overall energy, with it being the Eight of Swords, that actually talks about not being able to see that there are means as to which you could free yourself very easily, very easily. Like all she really has to do is kind of, you know, shimmy behind her and then feel that those swords are there and she can easily cut her way out of whatever this is. So there, there's kind of a sense that a lot of ease could come to you if you were willing to let this energy approach you. And also, in a sense, kind of acknowledge that there is, in fact, a relationship between you both. One in which one cares for, well, it's more coming through as like, they care for you, them caring for you. So, with the death card being in reverse and symbolizing that it's, it's coming through as an obstacle, that you don't have to come up against. You don't have to come up against this obstacle. What's being presented here at the end of your reading is the Ace of Cups. And what I'm seeing is is this energy here actually writing in or or writing in some type of transition for you that is going to give you a smooth passageway this is almost looking like as if you are the one that is in this cup here and their hand is just lifting you up and then gently setting you down on the other side of this obstacle so you, I hope that you can like visually see it as I'm seeing it in the cards that you've been doing a lot of, you've been doing a lot of planning that is going to help you approach this obstacle. Um, well, you think in a very smooth manner, but there's all kind of also not realizing that you do need assistance like you do need assistance of this other one this other one that is appearing as an angelic energy now they could be they could be someone who is actually embodied or you know of course it could be coming through as you know your higher self or one that is in a sense separated from our world like like as in as as in angels in that in that regard and if you are in this defensive state you that energy might actually be working through someone to kind of um, establish the relationship in a way that would make it feel more comfortable for you so this energy really just wants to lift you up and lift you over this it's like they're wanting to just pick you up pick you up and just lift you over this obstacle this death card here and kind of set you gently down on the other side and the way that they're doing it the way that they're doing it is in some type of story or storytelling or maybe in a in in like watching stories it's coming through in that type of way like being able to 
write down a new storyline for you. Like that's how they're able to do it for you. Very interesting. So Gemini, of course, if this reading resonated for you, I will be pulling some more cards and you can follow that link in the top of, this, of the description box. And as always, I am doing personal readings. So if you find that, you know, our energies resonate with each other, you can click the links that will take you to where you can book on my website. And I will see you next time.